some cool stuff came out. Number one, if you haven't seen this tweet yet, the new Jericho skin for the One Punch Man event has been... I stole it. I have no interest in drinking it. Just... Okay, I'll, I'll come back to it, I promise. Uh, the new Tatsumaki Kiriko skin has been shown off. And this second photo, what is this? What is this? They, they know. They know. <laughs> dude, the angles are... Dude, they, I'm not gonna lie, this goes hard. This is actually the craziest fucking skin. Uh, I would say probably the best one of the events so far, even though the Doomfist one was really top tier. I didn't think they were gonna top it, but they did. They they found a way. They found a way to top it. And this is the article that's connected. Overwatch 2 collabing with One Punch Man. It's on Microsoft on Xbox News. So this is a very interesting place for this to, to be. But maybe a uh, uh, a look into the future of what could possibly be Overwatch. Overwatch 2, check out the Kiriko One Punch Man collaboration skin and how it was made. Xbox Wire can exclusively reveal one of Overwatch 2's upcoming One Punch Man collaboration skins, support hero Kiriko, in the form of Terrible Tornado. The legendary skin comes as part of a wider collaboration between Overwatch 2 and One Punch Man, which has already seen Doomfist revealed in a skin based on the eponymous superhero himself, Saitama. The legendary Terrible Tornado Kiriko skin will arrive as part of a bundle available for 2100 coins. Wait, the bundle will be 2100 coins? I thought it would be actually pretty high, much higher than that. Uh, for this quality, that's like almost in line with... Okay, so for example, the Kiriko Witch skin for Halloween was like 28. And I would argue that this is way better than the Witch skin. Um, so, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually lower than I expected. That's for the bundle. Now, I'm, I bet the regular just skin by itself is 1900 so it's like, you might as well buy the bundle for the extra two bucks. Um, but that's actually really interesting. Uh, I'm happy that it's not, like, 50 Because, let's be honest, chat, this very easily... They very easily probably could have charged 50 bucks for this. And like that would have been a, that wouldn't have been a good thing. I'm not saying that. But like if you're looking at other places in the industry, it is absolutely possible that could have happened. So I think that's pretty good. Um The bundle includes the legendary skin, the terribly impressive victory pose. I'm assuming it's this victory pose. God damn. Uh, and the terrible tornado name card. The skin and the rest of the One Punch Man collaboration will be available from March 7th until April 6th. Um, wow, it's actually going to go for a month? Holy. It's the first major in-game collaboration for Overwatch since a LEGO-inspired Bastion skin in 2019, which arguably is one of the best Bastion skins, if not the best one. And I caught up with art director Dion Rogers to find out how this unexpected partnership emerged. It was something we would want to do for a while, he begins... You know, Overwatch's art style is kind of a mirage of West meets East aesthetics and values. There's a bit of an anime look to Overwatch. Sorta, sure. Um, so fans of anime were looking for a partner to collaborate with. Uh, and we looked at various studios, and then when One Punch Man came up, it was surprising how many people on the team knew the anime. They loved it, they watched it. Aaron Keller, our game director, knows all the characters and things backwards and forwards. Okay, that's actually kind of hilarious. Um, Aaron barely knows how to work Twitter, but he knows every character in One Punch Man. Uh, so it was pretty surprising. We felt like there was a great one because the team would be very excited by this idea. They knew, oh sorry, because the team knew the anime so well and they were so excited at this point, we, uh, at this point that it felt really, or it felt like the right fit. Sorry, I don't know how to read this morning. Rogers wasn't wrong. He says that the collaboration was so popular in the studio that on the very first team meeting about it, the character artist for Saitama, Doomfist Skin, began drawing designs during the call and was sharing them soon after. If you wanted to some measure on how much the Overwatch team likes One Punch Man, consider the fact that Doomfist had a voice line referring, referencing the show for years. One punch is all I need. Except in Overwatch 2, it's more like four or five punches. But uh, before this crossover came together, 
we were yes we were inspired rogers laughs when i he asked about it holy this actually is insane this is actually insane so what about kiriko's costume specifically terrible tornado is an incredibly powerful psychic in the world of one punch man and it comes with a distinct personality all of her own which made kiriko the right fit to put on her costume i actually thought mercy was gonna have it because like the whole like floaty thingy but um Part of this challenge brings some of our heroes in is basically, wait, part of the, of the challenge of bringing some of the heroes in is basically because of a silhouette change. So gameplay wise, we have to be careful. Doomfist, for example, as Saitama, he gains a cape. Doomfist, we never give him a cape in any of all of our skins, so that is his silhouette. The shape that players are using and seeing remains, so we are very careful when we applied this. Okay. I wonder if that means like the cape won't go very far back. Um, Kiriko on the top of needing some more skins. On top of needing more skins. Wait, really? I mean, I mean, she's new, yeah, but like, I feel like Kiriko's got like <laughs> Kiriko's gotten a lot of skins already. But okay, um, because she's a newer hero in the game. Okay, fair. Uh, she fits the silhouette of Terrible Tornado pretty well. Uh, so it just felt like a natural choice. We could do her or sorry we could do her hairstyle but a lot of Kiriko's base silhouette comes from her skirt the little kind of angles parts on her, the angle parts on her clothing so we keep that look while capturing terrible tornado in kind of cosplay form okay that makes sense Rogers have rises to an interesting point about this collaboration in most games uh, you kind of assume the heroes were meant to be a version of the one punch man characters but in overwatch 2 they are cosplaying them I actually like that route pretty it's actually pretty good i like it uh, our heroes are basically aware of the anime and the fans too and they're cosplaying as the heroes I, they talked about this before but i think it's a good approach that's our approach that's our heroes are basically aware of the anime and our fans too they're cosplaying as the heroes so when you see doomfist wearing the saitama outfit he is a fan too it raises the question is this a one-off or can you see more cosplay-esque collaboration for overwatch 2's future uh, this seems like kind of like repeated. I feel like we've read this before or something similar. We definitely want to do more collaborations over time, but with the right opportunity because it took a long time to reach here. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long for the next one. But our goal is to do more. It was super fun for the team. It is surprising and I think our approach overlaps with Overwatch very well. Oh, so their answer actually has changed. Um, the answer was we're in wait and see. Maybe we'll do another one. Maybe we won't. Let's see the reaction. It's actually changed now to... Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to go to the next one, but our goal is to do more. So they, they've they changed their answer officially. It went from maybe we'll see to yes. So that means they definitely were happy with the uh, reaction of the, the player base. Uh, and what I like about the new game is it's seasonal. We have seasonal cadence of things now. It allows us to pursue more things like this because we have targeted seasons we can plug these things into. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Let me let me peer, let me peel back the curtain a little for you. Uh, that probably means during uh, off season or off hero seasons, for example. Um, so it's like map hero, map hero for every other season. Um, those seasons where it's a map, where it's like you know people aren't as interested uh, because maps aren't that exciting. They could add a collaboration. Boom, gets people to play the game, gets people interested. They spend more money. They go swipe, swipe, swipe genius actually kind of genius is this a spray or is this an this has got to be a spray right probably a spray um which is actually that's actually highly detailed for a spray holy i can't let rogers go without asking the obvious follow-up what would his dream collaboration be once one one punch man is done oh yeah dragon ball that's one of them actually street fighter I'd love to support, I'd love to combo with Street Fighter at some point. Here's hoping to one or both would happen someday soon. So they want, so Dion wants Dragon Ball and Street Fighter. Honestly, kind of based, kind of a, kind of a based options. One, one a little bit more mainstream, one a little bit less mainstream, but still kind of hits hard. I'd be into it. <sighs> but, hey, you know what though? You want to know what though? This is actually kind of cool. This is kind of cool. I like it. I like it. 
I, I want to see more of these. I can't wait to see this event. Uh, we're pretty close, right? Isn't it in a few days? What does it officially launch? March 7th? Okay, so we're, what, five days away? Oh, wow, shit. I wonder if we're going to see more of these over the next few days. But, yeah, this is five days away. Can't wait to see it. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess this is slightly important, too, uh, if you're interested. But um, March 7th? which is the same day that the One Punch Man event starts, will be the last day to get the original Overwatch League Home and Away skins. Uh, so if you're interested in those, you got five days to get them. Otherwise, I guess they're gone. Which means that we're probably going to get updated ones, right? Which is kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah. I figured at least... Uh, small heads up. 